Tonight, the East End community is rallying around a man they say has been a fixture in that area for years. Yes, he sells Mexican street corn, and now his main way to make a living has been destroyed. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon joining us live with more. Roseanne? That's right. You talk to anyone here in the East End, and they know who this man is. I got to sit down with him, and you could just see the pride in his eyes for when he talks about what he loves to do, which is feed this community. So when he needed help, this community didn't hesitate to jump in. This man's kind face is anything but a stranger's here in the East End. He's like a staple in the neighborhood. He's been around for so long, and... He doesn't do any harm. 76-year-old Emilio Vargas says he takes pride in his craft. <laughs> These hard-working hands and his bicycle cart make up his living. Making and selling Mexican street corn earned him his name. And everybody loves him. Everybody knows the elote man. But it's his heart that's earned him this community's kindness. He helps people, and if you don't have the money, he's going to give you whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, you pay me later. But Sunday, Vargas was hit by a car on navigation. The car owner didn't have insurance. Vargas was badly hurt, his precious cart destroyed. His story was shared on Facebook, inspiring others. So the accident, just the pictures alone, were telling. And it's like, man, we got to help this guy. Business owner Hector Garcia and others stepped in. Everybody was just jumping at the chant, like, let's help this dude. He deserves because he works hard. It doesn't matter if it's rain, or cold, or what, he's out there. The Galvins and Garcia organized ways to fundraise for Vargas's many needs, but perhaps the best donation. A family's been kind enough to donate a brand new Elote cart style bike so Emilio hasn't seen it but our plans are to add the canopy a radio light just really make this a really nice setup for him an act of kindness they say this giving man has more than earned he really deserves it he needs a little break in life now they are just so excited to surprise him with that new cart. He is still recovering from his injuries, but he tells me once he's able to work, he certainly wants to do so. These families have also organized a fundraiser on Friday, and they have a GoFundMe page. All of this information is available on our website, clicktohouston.com. Reporting live from the East End, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Roseanne.